So this is the short introduction for the Greenworks versus Oregon saw uh, cutting challenge. Uh, these are two somewhat comparable saws, although the Oregon saw is a more expensive model, and it's uh, there's, there's a little bit different philosophy on how they're go we're going to handle work capacity with these battery uh, battery situations. The Greenworks saw is about a two hundred and fifty dollars saw. Spare batteries, roughly a hundred bucks each, or you can just go buy another Greenworks tool that comes with a battery, and then that's a way of building up extra batteries and extra chargers. You end up with extra chargers for free. Um, chargers, decent low cost charger takes uh, I don't know maybe a couple hours. I haven't run a battery totally down to dead and seen how long it's going to take to bring it back up. Uh, Oregon saw is going to come with this charger here that I understand takes quite a while to charge a battery. Uh, one of the ways they can increase working capacity on a saw for somebody is they have a rapid charger. It's uh, it's an option. I think it's around 100 bucks or 89.95, something like that. It's uh, air cooled. It's got a fan, a cooling fan in it, and microprocessor control. It's it's set up to uh, charge a battery a lot faster. Uh, the pros tell me, the guys who are loggers who use these as a limbing saw, which means after they've cut a tree down, they want to get the limbs off. Uh, they say about two of these batteries, a guy can work all day long on two of the endurance batteries. And then uh, take them home and charge them that night. The, uh, we're going to be testing these on inverter power. We'll see how that goes. The uh, features on a saw, basically... Uh, the Oregon saw has a self sharpening mechanism, the Greenworks saw does not. The Greenworks saw has a really neat toolless adjustment thing, and I had to adjust the, uh, the chain yesterday, and it was very quick, very easy, very, very, very efficient. Uh, the Oregon saw is a little more conventional in that you can, it's a toolless thing. Here, you loosen this up, and then you have to adjust it with a screwdriver, and they give you a screwdriver, which is nice. So I would say feature-wise, it's very comparable. Uh, battery capacity wise we're going to find out that's going to be part of the challenge but I'm going out with two partially charged Greenworks batteries and uh, 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 one of these endurance batteries that's fully charged and we're going to see the rest here in a little bit we'll, we'll see some cutting done uh, there's been no modification or upgrades on these saws except that I added a carabiner to the Greenworks saw so that it could be um, hung, hung from a rope or let up and down uh, for limbing work for a climber so we're, we'll see a little bit more here in a bit.